This is a beginner friendly masterclass video on trading meme coins. I'm going to show you exactly how to find meme coins to trade. I'm going to show you the different types of meme coins you can trade, what tools to use to trade them, and how you can make these massive returns, 10x or more returns, but also at the same time, how you avoid getting into these coins that can have 90% drops and how to avoid this happening for your trades. So let's get started. For most of this video, I'm going to be using Deck Screener because it's the best place to look at the charts and look at some of the data points that we're going to use for placing trades. Deck Screener is basically a place where they have all of the different types of meme coins, whether they're old or new, on all of the different blockchains. So when you come to the homepage, deckscreener.com, and you click here on filters on the top right hand corner, you'll see all platforms here on the top. When you click into that, you can actually choose which platform you want. And that's the first thing we're going to do. We're going to click on Solana and then click save because we're only going to concentrate on Solana. Now, before I continue, I'm going to show you the different types of meme coins, firstly, in terms of where they are in the cycle. These are examples of newer coins that have already run significantly. So they've not just launched, they've become established. This is one called GOAT, the premium AI coin. And it launched about three to four weeks ago now. And it's currently sitting at 600 odd million in market cap. Then you've got some of these coins like this one, Effective Accelerationism. Again, it's another AI coin, but it's newer and it's a smaller in market cap. Market cap is just, um, you can see here, it says it on the right hand side. That's the size of the meme coin, the total size. So you can get 20 million, 100 million, even a billion or more. So that gives you an idea of size. When we're trading, we use market cap to give us an idea of what we're making. So for example, if I bought at 5 million market cap and I sold at 10 million market cap, I've doubled my money. I've made exactly what we would call a 2x. So if I put $100 in and I sold at 10 million market cap, I would make $200. Keep that in mind as we go through the rest of this tutorial video. So what are the other types we might see? So these are newer coins. We can also see older coins. And you can see here on the top left in the search bar, I can actually type any older coins in. So if you've heard of any, you can type in the token here, for example, WIF. So for example, if I type in Dog With Hat, which is a, a well-known one, some of you may have heard of that, and I uh, click on the radium pool here, the second one. This is an older one. So this, we're on a daily chart now, and you can see this is well over, well, 10, 11 months old. It was launched approximately a year ago, went on a massive run, and has been correcting ever since, maybe beginning a, another run. We don't know for sure yet. It looks like it could be. So we still got a little bit of a dip to go, but this is an older coin. So the strategy you'll use for this coin is completely different. We're gonna talk about platforms where we see new coins in just a minute. But one thing you have to understand is, especially for pumped up fun coins, initially when they launch, the price starts at a market cap of around 5K, 5,000. And then they need to reach a specific amount to get liquidity. You don't need to know all of the specifics of exactly what that means. All you need to know that it, it reaches something called a bonding curve, and then it becomes an official meme coin where it gets real liquidity. And this is around 60, 70 K market cap. And then you'll see it on tools like Deck Screener. And from here, it can do many different things. Once it gets here, it can go up and then dump. It can just go up in a straight line and go to 1 million, 2 million or it can go up and then dump and then die off completely. So this kind of one of the three main things that it does. And all we're doing as traders, again, is we're buying low and we're selling high. We can buy low and sell high before it reaches the bonding curve. So we could do that all before, or we can do it once it's reached the bonding curve. It has a limit here, a higher cap of um, a ceiling, if you want to call it that, how high it can go here. So keep that in mind as well. It has a ceiling here on this side, no ceiling. So that meme coin I showed you before called GOAT that actually started here literally at 5,000, believe it or not, and is now at 600 million. So literally that coin in itself made several millionaires or definitely people who made six figures or more. By the way, I've shown you that you can buy at any market cap understand that with that coin, there are people who bought what you might call late and they bought here at 300 million in market cap. So tell me if you've been watching now, if I buy at 300 million and the, and I sell now, 
So let's call it 600 million. How much do I make? So if I bought at 300 million and I put in $100 of Solana and I sell it now, how much should I make? Well, even those of you that are newer will know that this is exactly double. So I should make 200. So you need to understand basic maths here for any of this meme coin stuff to make sense. Now, believe it or not, there are people who bought here very, very high, well after it ran a lot. And they put in, they literally pumped in 150K, not $100, 150K. And then they doubled it to 300K and they sold and moved on. <laughs> so they've actually made 150,000. And it did not matter that they got very, very early. If you get in very, very early, you'll make more multiples. But that doesn't mean to say you can't make money from meme coins. It really is something that everybody can make money from. But obviously, a lot of people lose money. And that's why you're here on this video today. I'm going to show you as many strategies as I can to stop that from happening. And if you click here on top traders and you scroll down, you'll see people who invested very little. Uh, some invested more, obviously, 10,000 even, and they turned it into half a million. But then you're going to see some people who invested a lot and turned it into a lot as well. There's a lot of that here too. So for example, some people who invested 400,000 and turned it into 1.4 million. So they invested a lot too. So some of them only double their money, but because they put in so much at the beginning, it could turn into a lot. Now, obviously you, you won't, you know, most of you watching are not going to put six figures into a meme coin, but you might want to put 5k, $5,000 if you got it free spare and you genuinely don't mind losing a good bit of it in meme coins, you might be willing to risk that. So think about that. It's all about the multiples. Pump.fun is a platform where you can fair launch brand new meme coins. So anybody can come here and launch a coin. You can literally click on start a new coin here and create your own. You can put a name, a ticker symbol, so a coin symbol for it, a quick description, an image and click create. And as long as you fund it with some Solana, that's it, it's good to go. So let me go back. So here, we can actually see all of the new coins that are launching, that people are launching. And these are fair launches. These can't really be rugged in the traditional sense that it's a clear scam. The way they may, it may be a scam is the price might go up, but it's insiders basically buying up all of the supply. And then as soon as a few new people join in, then they suddenly dump the price. But more on that in just a minute. Don't worry about that for now. This is what we're looking to trade with mainly, pump.fun tokens. And we don't want to use deck screener and we don't want to use pump.fun to trade. So if I click on one of these, I don't want to be buying and selling it here. I want to use proper software. Proper software gives us a massive, massive advantage. And I'll show you an example of that right now. So first of all, let's go back to the beginning. We need to find new coins that are launching, uh, for example, on pump.fun and have uh, received liquidity recently. So when we're on our filters page on deck screener, we've clicked on Solana already at the top. We can add liquidity here. So let's say 20,000. And I've put a minimum market cap of 30,000. Anything less than 30,000 and the coins probably died already anyway. That's why I put that minimum. And then I don't want to over filter too much. I would like a new coin. So I'm going to put maximum age there of two, year, uh, two hours. So that way it might be a coin that pumped already, dipped a little bit, but still has a buying opportunity for me. And so that is not a complete scam where there's only a few holders and a few people pumping the price. I'm just going to put transactions there, minimum 1,000 and click apply. Now you should see only a few coins. There shouldn't be like hundreds of thousands of coins because that wouldn't make sense. In the last two hours, there's only a few that would likely meet those filters. And here you can see the number of holders as well. I like to sort this by volume because that kind of gives us an idea of what might be the more popular coins compared to the least popular. And it doesn't matter what the market cap is because it might be going through a big uh, kind of dump in price just now, but my, that might give us opportunities to buy. And any of these, all of these, we can open in new tabs and we can analyze further. So this is one uh, which I saw earlier and I've opened a new tab. So it launched barely two hours ago. And you can see here right at the beginning, the price started at around 70K mark because that's basically what price it reaches when it um, off the bonding curve. So it first hits a deck screener with the real liquidity pool. And notice that since it hit, it ran straight up because that's one of the things I mentioned to you. Some will run straight up. So this one ran to 400,000. Now, usually organic coins, they tend to run to very round numbers and bounce off round numbers as well. More on that in just a minute. But notice in the top right that this one has ads. So this particular meme coin, they're advertising on deck screener. This is not usually a great sign. It usually means that the coin's not going to run very far organically. And you can see this one didn't particularly. 
And the reason they might do this is because if they have any bags, the people who created this coin, they might want it to run a bit and then sell. So just keep that in mind. The next thing you might see with coins like this that won't do very well, click on the website and on the Twitter. We need to do a little bit of social research. So let's click on website. Notice that they have an AI chat thing here. Now this might seem new, new and unique, but if you've been in the meme coin trenches a while, which means you've basically been, you know, spending many, many hours trading, especially new coins and learning, um, you'll have seen these before for AI coins. So this is nothing new, interesting or incredible for an AI coin. So, you know, it doesn't get any points there. Then when we click on the Twitter and have a look, is it something again, new and unique in the AI world that we've not seen before? Not really, every single post, they're just pumping the coin. They're just goading people to buy the coin, which again is not really anything incredible. This is supposed to be a meme coin. So this is not helping. So when you think about narratives of meme coins and you think of something new uh, and unique, it could be very, very funny. It could have some incredible technology, some other narrative that creates a massive amount of attention. That's what you're looking for. Keep that in the back of your mind. It's gonna be hard at the beginning if you're brand new, but after you've done this for a few days going on to weeks and months, it gets easier and easier. You can quickly spot the ones that are obviously not gonna run or do anything interesting at all. Doesn't mean you can't still trade them, but you're running the risk there of these dumps early on because there's nothing in the coin. There's nothing interesting about the coin. So keep that in mind. This is what we might call qualitative research. It's not based on numbers actually. It's more based on just looking at the socials and seeing what this coin is all about. So let's go back onto our list here. And all we do, open these in new tabs, and we open a few of these, and then we can get ready to take a trade. So there's another one here, it says world's largest AI. So obviously we know the narrative's AI, but what, what more else is there about it? Go into a smaller time frame. So in the top left, click on one minute. When you're actually trading, you wanna be even less. You actually, believe it or not, wanna be on a one second chart, um, or a little bit higher, maybe a 15 second. But again, I'll come back to that in just a minute as well. So what I'm gonna show you now is a coin that launched a little bit longer ago, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about the psychological levels and about the coin in general. This coin is called AVB. Click on the website, and then we're gonna have a look at the Twitter page as well. So we click on the website, and you can see it's some sort of medium article by Tim Cotton. So this might be somebody in the AI space. This doesn't mean that this person created the AI coin, so be careful about that. People can link coins to famous people, like I can create a coin all about Elon Musk. It doesn't mean that Elon Musk endorsed it. Elon Musk may choose to do, endorse it later, but just be careful about that when you're researching these coins. Anyway, this is an interesting concept. So this is an article where this person wrote an interesting idea about AVBs. Great, so that's that's already interesting. And then click on the Twitter, and then they've created um, this coin based on stuff by Tim Cotton, but again, has Tim Cotton endorsed it? We don't know. So let's go back on the coin. And you can see the coin ran really well. So at the beginning, let's have a look at the multiples. So again, we're on a, just a one minute chart here. And we can see initially it ran to 200 and pulled back to 50. So notice that I don't exclude anything under 100 because sometimes you can get deep dips. I only exclude under 30. And that's not a random number I picked out of like thin air. It's loads and loads of experience. I've rarely seen ones go below 30 recover. The lowest I've seen is 31, 32, and then they ran. So this one, this one in particular was 50. Very organic in terms of his movement. Here it looked like nobody cared, it was doing all right, and then it started to gain momentum. And then when it gains momentum, it usually runs to very important psychological levels. Like the top levels here were around 5 million. This actually overshot a little bit. But the reason it stops at 5 million, there's an important reason. Now, those of you who have been trading meme coins will know why this is. This is all mass psychology at work. These round numbers is where people take a lot of profits. And because everybody's taking profits here, you usually see price run here and then have a massive dip. So how can you, well, what can you do about this? How does this help you? Well, if you ever see a new coin running and it's at 4 million, don't buy it. You don't buy it because you know that there's a very good chance it'll run a tiny bit more and then have a massive pullback. Better wait for the pullback. And this had a very big pullback that ran on for hours. And notice the end of the pullback here, we ran to exactly 500,000. Again, round number. Usually from 5 million, the dips tend to be sub 1 million. So 500,000 is a very common one. If this ran to, let's say 10 million or seven or 8 million, you might see the dip end at 1 million, one, and then run up from there. This helps us as traders, because if you wanna buy the dip, 
We don't have to wait there all night for it to run to these levels. We can actually put an automatic buy order here. It's another way to trade where you don't always have to watch the screen and you can get a really good price. And then we ran, but if you zoom out, you, you might say this coin's failed. It didn't run anywhere. That, that is true. It hasn't really run anywhere. But notice it still ran to 2.3 million here. Now that doesn't sound like a lot, but if we click here on the left and we click on price range, from the low to the high, that's 300%. Now you're not gonna capture all of that move, but the chance of you in here somewhere capturing a 2X or a 3X is actually kinda high. It's actually kinda high. You didn't, wouldn't need to time it perfectly. And this coin might still completely die off. So notice that there's different strategies here. This I call the initial run up, I call a wave one strategy. These buy the dips from here, uh, wave two strategies after those initial pumps. And then rarely some continue to pump later down the road. Those are wave three strategies. And the reason I've separated them is so many have an initial pump. So few have a second pump. And then even fewer have the third pump. So these are very rare. And that's why it's good to know because you can quickly kind of work out where is this one? Where is this one? He had a failed second pump. So this one potentially could be a completely dead coin that only had that first run. This is why I separate them. Next, on the top right, click on copy address here. So the button next to AVB and it copies the contract address. Use a tool like Photon. And here in Photon, you can literally search in the top and you can literally copy and paste the address here and click on it. So here we have the exact same coin and we can buy and sell and notice uh, software gives you a few other advantages. By the way, the link to this software is in the description below. So if you click on that and set it up, you can use it and you can fund your account. And I'll show you how in just a minute. But you can see extra things here. Like if the devs been buying and selling tokens, which is very common at the beginning, they tend to buy, sell, buy, sell. They don't tend to do it later unless they've held a position. You can also see insider trading using this platform. But what's even better than that is you see here the buy and sell dashboard. We can buy, for example, I can buy two if I want to here, and I can decide exactly where I want to buy. I can buy the dip, click on buy dip, click on two again, and if I click on this arrow, I can choose the exact market cap I want to buy at. So I can say I want to buy at a million. And I can confirm that by seeing that the drop in price, which is about 40% from here, which makes sense from 1.6, 1.7, and I can, ask the software to buy this for me automatically, create an order, and I can tell the software when it expires, this order. So I want this to be active for three days. So anytime this drops to 1 million, I want to buy it. And I can actually click on create order here and it will buy the position. And that's it, it's as simple as that to create an automatic buy order. We can do the same when we click on sell. So we can click on auto sell and then we can choose the exact level we want to sell a position at. So we can put market cap here and we can type it in here. I have other videos where I go into this in a lot more detail on my channel, if you would like to check them out. And um, by the way, just a quick pause, if you're enjoying the video, please comment below and let me know, uh, like the video, and please subscribe to my channel. You'll see the icon in the top right with a notification bell. So anytime I release tutorials like this, you'll be the first to know about it. So that's automatic buying and selling using a platform like Photon. Let me show you where Photon might be useful. This is an AI coin that was popular, especially on um, Twitter and it's called Medusa. And it ran all the way to 30 million and then completely died off. If I take the contract address and I copy it into Photon, I can see here something strange. So we had the pump and then we struggled with price and then all this IS signs, insider buying and selling. So what do you think is going on here? Well few different possibilities, but one possibility is the original uh, people who had developed the coin or bought the, or sniped the initial supply, they had moved some of their holdings off Medusa into other wallets. And then if they've been selling in this region here, it shows up as sells. And to try and mask it sometimes, they may even buy coins. That's one explanation. There are actually a few explanations for it, but that is one. But the bottom line is, if you see things like this, it makes you nervous that this coin will ever pump again. And actually explains why the price died so fast. So this is not really an organic coin. It's kind of a manufactured coin. So these are the ones you kind of have to be careful about. But anyway, you shouldn't be holding from there um, if the price has been struggling. So let's go on to the other concept, the next one, which is cutting your losses. This is another new coin we just saw on the list. It's called Colossus. 
So let's find some more information, right? So at the moment, we don't know any, but anything about this coin. We know it's hovering around the 1 million mark, which is an important resistance area. We can see the holders at the bottom, 658. We also got this bubble maps option, which tells us if any of the wallets who have been uh, the largest holdings of this particular coin, if they're linked in any way, which can sometimes indicate uh, that there's uh, something suspicious about this particular coin. We can't see any obvious links there, which is good. If you click on wallet list, we can see the holdings. And that this is okay. This is all right. You don't want any holding to be like three or four percent. So this actually looks all right. But where are the socials? So if I copy this again into Photon, I can see the socials faster. So in this particular one, you can see you couldn't see them there. And you can see here devs sold a few coins on the way up, which is fine. So click on the X icon and you, you can see here what it might be about. It's a, some chit chat about the world's largest AI uh, uh, computer. So it's just new news about it. And they've created a coin about this, about this massive <laughs> new computer. But what they really need to do now is create a Twitter account that's dedicated to this computer. They haven't done that yet. You know, weirdly, um, these pumped up fund tokens are almost like an MVP, minimum viable uh, like concept or product, because they're almost testing the market to see what the interest might be. Let's click on website, see what they did there. And you can see they didn't do anything. It just goes back to the same uh, Twitter post. So that's an issue at the moment. No, doesn't mean it still can't run a little bit, whilst you know the community maybe creates more details about it, but it's an issue right now. And the other issue that will prevent the uh, coin running is not paying for the deck screen of socials. So on here, on these coins, basically you have to update the social say on the right, and that costs money to do. It's about three hundred or four hundred dollars nowadays to do on deck screener, and somebody needs to do that. But sometimes if you refresh the page, it might come up after. But you can see it's still not coming up. So that that's another issue that this particular coin has. Anyway. Let's talk about levels. You can see this is running and has a lot of momentum, which is a good sign, but there are some headways. One of them is socials. Now it's uh, reached a round number figure here of 1.5. If it breaks through here, then it's very likely gonna run to the next target, which is two. It's rare I see things stop halfway in between, because like I said, it's all about where the profit targets are. But you can see the volume bars here are very good on a one minute chart. So there's lots of volume going in, but on any pump fund coin that's a brand new launch that just reached liquidity, liquidity pool, at the beginning, however far it will run, volume's always high at the beginning because that's just where there's the most interest and narrative and it's just reached deck screener and received even more volume. So keep that in mind as well. So at some point, this is gonna have quite a healthy dip and that's where we need to decide, is it something worth buying? We could have gotten in here earlier and if we did, that's fine too. We can ride it all the way up and then look to take profits. But we don't wanna buy here on green candles because then we would be sucker punched by like a 60% dip. So that's something that you have to be wary of. So we'll come back to this coin in just a minute. Let's see if it hits 2 million and then pulls back. Now I talked about filters here for coins that are trending right now. If I make some slight adjustments, so in, instead of pair age, I change this so I can increase the liquidity to let's say 100,000. So we're looking for larger coins that have been around for a day or two now and that are still doing well. So I can increase this to 500,000 and then I can change pair age to 48 hours now. So it's basically two days. So delete that, change it to 48 hours and transaction, you don't have to worry about. You can leave that as a thousand or you can even increase it to 5,000 for the larger coins and then click apply. Now you're gonna get a, a different selection of coins. So these are coins that have been big in the last two days. And again, what we're looking for are things that ran, had a very healthy dip and could be opportunities to buy again. So how we can sort is by volume again, high to low, and then we can have a look at them. And you can see some of them dipped a lot. Some of them have already died actually. So we can click on a couple of these and just have a look. So it's the same thing we're doing, but instead of a one minute, we might use a five minute. Now you can quickly pick on the ones that are scam coins. And again, it's about being in the trenches a lot and spending a lot of time trading meme coins, but you can just tell this chart looks off completely. And this is botted volume. This is not real volume. Like an organic um, meme coin launch wouldn't have volume like this. So this may not even be a pumped up fund token either. So we can ignore that one. This one's Project Sid. That's much more like it for an organic real uh, coin. And you can see what I was talking about. Initially, a lot of them have the volume and then this one got even more volume to run up. And where did it get to? Well, it was trying to get all the way up to 10, didn't, struggled, got to eight. From eight, one million is a very common bounce level, but from one, it has to show strength. So this one got exactly to one. So if we zoom in there, you can see it went all the way down to one 
and actually did bounce a lot. So it got to one, well, about 900,000 spiking down and then run back to 2.2 and then failed. So they will, that will be where potentially it could run again. 2 million and, uh, uh, sorry, 1 million and 3 million tends to be good bounce points for them to run again. That's where we want to be automating our buys potentially. If we like the narrative, if we like the coin, we think it's something that could do well. Now you might be wondering if the coin's really amazing and it sounds like it's something that can do well, why would it dip 60%? Just profit taking, like that's normal profit taking. When something's run so much and people see a lot of selling going on, more and more people wanna sell their bags because they don't wanna lose any profits they held if they bought in here somewhere. It's just simple mass psychology again at work. So this one, you can see it just overshot a bit over two. Now, healthy pullback. I'm gonna refresh the page to see if they've updated socials on deck screen, which they haven't, which again is not a good sign. So you wanna see those things happen. And if they don't happen, again, this might not have another pump. We don't know for sure. But if it's run to two million and it gets a very deep dip now, the places where I'd wanna look at, one million possibly a little bounce, but that's only if it's really, really trending. More than likely, 500, 300,000. These are important Fibonacci levels as well for these coins. And for, to make that happen, I need to see something going on on socials. Have they created their own Twitter community, something like that? I can go on Telegram and see what the plan is. So that's another way we can look at this. But again, look at the narrative. Is it something new, interesting? Yeah, kind of. It's, it's an okay narrative. It's nothing special, but it's okay. So this is, these are the type of checks you need to do. And with any of these meme coins, it's, you, one thing you have to remember is all risk and reward. So your bag of, let's say you had $1,000. If you had 1,000 in each trade, you shouldn't be risking more than $100. Something like 0 0.1 Solana or a little bit less than that. And when you risk that, when you buy into these, like I was saying for this one, buy in at 300K market cap. You wanna give it a little bit of time. See if it's going up a bit, down a bit, what it's doing. Give it a bit of space to work. It might dip a bit first and then go. Give it some space. But if it's not moving after a while, I don't like anything going sideways for too long. It usually means it's gonna dump you should consider selling all of your position. People think that if they get a meme coin that doesn't run, that they lose everything and everything just goes to zero. Obviously, that's not the case. From 300, it might go down to 100 or 200K, but it's still enough market cap for you to come out with something. So your 100, you might have to sell, you might only get back $50, but that's okay because you can trade the next position and next time from 300, it could run to a million or two million. What if the 300K position ran to three million? How much have you made if you put in $100? What do you think? We start from 100. Well, from 300 to three million is exactly a 10X. So your 100 would turn into a 1,000 position, 1K. That's why we trade meme coins because you only need a few of those to really build your account. So this already showed that it can run to 2.2. So if it dips to 300, they sort the socials out and they get a bit of a community going, no reason why it can't run to 3 million. It's not impossible. But like I said, the initial run, a lot of coins do. These later runs, less and less coins do. They have to really show that they're, they're gonna do something. So this is all trading new coins. You don't have to trade new coins. As I've shown you before, you can trade older coins. And what you need to do for older coins is make your own watch list. For example, for some AI coins, even some that have completely died, I still have them on my, I still have to tidy up my watch list, but I still might have them on some of my watch list um, just so I can quickly open them and have a look at them. So Shoggoth is on my watch list. This is an older AI coin, decent enough community, decent enough meme, funny enough and stuff like that. And this particular one, you can see I've been analyzing. Um, this has been struggling since its uptrend ended uh, around 50 million, again, round numbers again. Massive pullback to 10 million exactly, round numbers. From 10 million, we ran all the way up to just over 30. So even on the uh, once the coin is struggling and failing, it can still run, you can still make some multiples. But you can see this, a downtrend has started. I repeat, a downtrend has started. How do downtrends start? When these stairs start going downwards. You get lower highs and lower lows. This is a downtrend, not a good sign. So we need to break out of that. So where will this one go down to? I've seen typically ones that uh, wanna do a very deep correction, they can go down exactly 10X down. So it's the opposite of doing a 10X. So from 50, they could go down to five. So a coin like this, I personally, because it's had so much volume go into it since launch, I would personally be interested at 5 million. It's worth the risk. Worst case scenario, it might do a little pump to either 10 and then fail, or even eight and then fail. 
And I would take that. That's still good profit. I don't mind that. But what if that was the dip and then it runs again? And just to get it back to 50 million, it could 10x. But remember what I said, for it to do another run now, this would be a wave three, not even a two, it's a wave three. Rarer. So it really has to be a very, very strong meme coin to then not fail completely from here. So that's when you'll be buying these dips. Use the same software, same everything. You can automate your orders if you want to, or you can buy live in real time. It's the same techniques. It's just everything moves a lot slower. So to get this even back to 10 million from five, it's not gonna take an hour like these newer coins. It might take a few days or a couple of days to do. With all of these coins, you can do a lot more analysis if you want to. Let me show you some free tools you can use. For example, uh, let's analyze Shoggoth. One of the coins you can use is called Lunar Crush. I'll link it below, lunarcrush.com. Just type into here Shoggoth and see if it's getting a lot of um, interactions. Yeah, it's getting some here. So shock this. You can you can do it by the coin or by the Twitter account as well. Let's just do it by the coin itself. And on here is giving me an idea of engagement. I want to zoom out now. So let me zoom out a lot more. And on the left here, the main thing I'm interested in is engagement and mentions on social media. And I want to see what the trend is at the moment. So if I zoom out here, I can clearly see that. So let me actually just go on a one month chart. And notice, interestingly, all of this stuff peaks around where the price peaks because the price is the purple line here. So let me just take the price off actually, so you can see it more clearly. You can see engagement peaks and then it pulls off. You can even type in the exact Twitter account to make it a little bit more precise. So rather than the coin, we've got the actual Twitter account there in terms of engagements and mentions. So again, it's the same analysis we're doing. Zoom out and have a look at what the trend is. Ideally, you'd want engagements and mentions to pick up again about this particular coin for it to start running again and receive some interest. We're not seeing that at the moment. We may see that later. But meme coins are all, it's an attention economy and it's all about attention. So if they if this particular coin gets more attention again, then it could potentially run up. Otherwise, a lot of these coins will struggle, unfortunately. So I've shown you uh, different ways to set up these watch lists. And when you're looking at any of these um, new coins, you can add them to your own watch list. So for example, let's click on this one, ZOA. And on this particular one, go down to the bottom right here, click on watch list, and then you can add them to one of your watch lists or you can create a new watch list there. So if you click on manage uh, my list at the bottom here and then click create new list, you can add new ones here. You can see I've got loads and loads of watch lists. So in terms of finding coins, I've shown you earlier um, exactly how to find them. We were talking about uh, deck screen adding a few filters, but there's so many other ways to find coins as well. Just when you're scrolling through Twitter, you might see people mention coins and I would be careful about that. It tends to be the later stages of a move on a particular well-known coin if you're hearing about it all over social media. Yes, absolutely, they can still pump. Like I first heard about GOAT on social media, it was only 50 million, it still ran to nearly a billion, so they can still run. But you're getting late in the game. Better find them yourself. Um, so you can do other things. So for example, on the same deck screener, you can also just see what's trending at the moment. Sometimes it could be older coins, newer coins that are trending right now. So you can uh, use that way too. You can click on gainers and losers here on the left and just see what's moving. And you can see where it says five minute, one hour, six hour, you can click on that and it will sort it high to low. Obviously you have to do the same thing again on all of these. You have to add filters that actually make sense. Whether you wanna look at older coins or newer coins. For example, if I just wanna look at very old coins, so I can uh, click here and put minimum age, let's say 480. So it's anything over two days old and I click on apply. These are just older coins that are trending and I can make sure it's Solana as well. So I click on Solana there and now click apply again. So these are the ones you may have heard of like Tremp uh, coin before, will one some of you will have heard of, etc. Cook is another one that some of you may have heard of. Some of these old ones might be trending again. And like I said, we can sort it. Last 24 hours, what are the ones that have moved the most? And we're doing the same thing. We're opening in chart is no, no different to the analysis we do to the brand, brand new coins. We're zooming out a little bit and we're having a look to see if there are any buy setups. If it's something new that's pumping, is there a dip buy opportunity? Are there psychological levels where we might get into this particular coin? And do we think it's still gonna pump and keep going? Some of them can just run on a little bit of volume and then no new volume comes in and they just die off again, unfortunately. What are other ways we can find new coins? Another one, is use this, this is called banter bubbles. I'll link it below as well. And this particular one, very, very easy to use. So it's for altcoins, meme coins, anything basically crypto related. And it just tells you on the day what's moving and what's not. And it just shows you it visually. So if you come here and click on where it says AI, and then here 
instead of AI coins, you can, instead of that narrative, choose meme. And then for the meme ones, you can see all of the general meme ones that are moving, but then click on meme again and now choose Solana. So these are all these Solana ones that have been moving. So you can have a look into some of these, the ones that are trending in particular, and just see, like you'll see some very well-known ones here as well. And you can change the time frame. Obviously, some of them look like they've moved a lot because they've got the time frame on as a month. We don't want a month. We want to know what's moving today or in the last hour. So click on today. These are ones that have just moved. So um, EACC, we were just discussing before, it's up 70%. ACT is up 63%. One I've discussed before on my channel. Another one is Sigma I've discussed before. That's up a lot here. And many of them are down too. For example, Fartcoin is a popular AI coin that's down a lot. Could be a buy opportunity. Who knows? That's something that's worth researching. And if you click on an hour, you can see something that's, that's literally pumping right now as we speak. So it might be one we want to have a look at that. For example, AI 16Z, we can go and have a look at the coin, see what's going on with the price. So many, many different ways to look look for coins, but ideally you wanna use a way where you're finding them yourself rather than waiting for somebody to shill you a coin where sometimes it can be a little bit later in the move. In the description below, I have a comprehensive training program when it comes to meme coin trading. So please check that out if you're interested. I'm constantly adding new video modules to that as we get new platforms that we can trade with. I'll be closing enrollments on this in a few days. As a subscriber, you can get 50% off. Coupon code is also available below. Finally, I just wanna share this with you. This is from Dune Analytics, another software that I use, and it just gives me an overall idea of how things are going in terms of meme coins and trading and the interest. And you can see here yesterday, nearly 25,000 pumped up fun coin launches. Obviously a lot of them struggle and don't go anywhere but you can just see the sheer amount of tokens deployed. And this only goes up when things are going well when it comes to meme coin trading. People won't be launching coins unless it was worth uh, actually launching it. So you can see uh, from that point of view, we're definitely trending upwards. And that's why I keep an eye on this, just to see if there's any dips or slowdowns in the market. As we saw towards the end of August, early September, we saw an area of slowdown. When we have an area of slowdown, it's just a time to be more focused in your meme coin trading. Maybe even pull all of your positions and just hold on to cash for a short period of time, especially if you're trading the larger cap coins and doing longer term holds. So this was a longer format video. And if you like this type of content, uh, please mention it in the comment section below. I'm more than happy to do more like this where I run through, including if you want me to actually set up uh, live trades in terms of buying and selling, kind of like click by click. If you find that helpful, just let me know in the comment section below too. Thanks for listening.